Welcome everybody, my name is Dina, welcome on my channel where we're gonna react to new Just Dance 2021 songs. A little birdie told me there's gonna be, what did you tell me little birdie? Trip, trip, three songs. Three new songs from Just Dance 2021. It's the fourth week in a row where we're getting three new previews of new songs. May I remind you the new game is gonna be getting released on November 12th. In the meantime, we still have a lot of songs we don't know from the playlist and today let's go for maybe three new ones i don't know i have no idea what song we're gonna watch today just let's go let's go let's go <gasps> what oh my god there's an alternative to britney oh my god oh my god oh my god i was not ready for this oh la la the guy looks like animals extreme from just dance 2016 oh my god there's june and Alexandrie, Alexandra, what the fuck? <laughs> this is a French song, guys. I'll come back on it. It looks like something. But till the world ends out and again, I may miss it, but it looks like one. It's it's out, that's true. It looks extreme and it looks like it's a male coach again. Oh my God, I love the normal version. I bet it's still gonna be the shitty cover from the girly team. If this changed, I would be so happy. I'm stressed, like till the world is getting an alt. Oh, I wanna like it. You see that face? It's the face of half scared, half excited. <laughs> what the, I'm sure it's extreme. There's no way this is not extreme. That jump, though. into position you can see that on the pictogram first it's still the shitty cover <laughs> so Ugh. the coach looks really different his morphology looks different from the majority of coach which i like i like the pink hair as well the outfit it's a mix of animals and extreme like i said like the top is exactly that the jacket i don't know but it gives movements to the choreo so not super convinced about that move on the ground yeah, why not? I guess it's a matter of, in of interpretation. It's not that extreme now that I think about it. I said extreme because I assumed it, but it's not that extreme. I think it's gonna be categorized in the game as extreme, but it's definitely less technical than some songs we already have, like Don't Start Now from last week or Yemen Yazara, for example. So first, I'm not super fan of this movement, like one hand, one hand, one hand. I think it like it can look very sassy if you put the intention. It's fine. But what disappoints me the most is that on the chorus, for me, the chorus is the most energetic part, right? I mean, on that song, it's the most energetic part. And here, you feel like it's energetic before, but this is very slow. Ah! I understand that the moves are on the lyrics and not on the music, but it's not of my preference, let's say. It's really on the lyrics and not at all on the beat. On the normal version, the moves are on the beat and not the lyrics. So I guess, yes, then I changes, but I'm not a super fan of it. What works there is because on the part where it's, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Impersonating the girl team, okay? Just after the parts of the oh, oh which is the chorus, it, it goes on the bridge with the see the sunlight. This part is a continuation of the chorus, but this part is only present after half the song. It's only present after the second chorus. So in the first chorus, nothing is gonna build because it's gonna be verse, 
chorus where it's super slow and then verse again. Here it works okay because then the second part where I see the sun like we ain't stopping is really moving and, and putting more energy into it, you know? If this part wasn't there, I really feel like the chorus is a miss. Boom! You know what? I don't like that version of the song. Uh, I don't like the audio version of the song. The choreo, I really, really, really need to dance it to feel it. I'm not amazed by visually what I'm seeing, but it could be very different when I'm gonna dance it. It feels like a bit what I said last week, even though I really love what the Just Dance team did on Don't Start Not Out, because I really think it's technical, on point, and, and extreme, like I like it. This one looks a bit less extreme, if you want my opinion. The normal version is perfect. It's a normal perfect version. The coach is perfect, the choreo is perfect, the map is perfect. The only thing that is lame, in my opinion, about the normal version is the audio track. So we still have the audio track, the same one, but I'm less convinced by that coach, even though I like the fact it looks different from whatever we had in the past, generally speaking. But I'm not like super excited by the choreography. I don't know if it's a hit or if it's a miss. I remember Work Work Out from Just Dance 2019 and it was much more of a miss than I think this one is gonna be when I'm gonna dance it. So it's, it's not like, I don't think it's gonna be a miss. I don't know if you're gonna share my opinion, tell me in the comments, but I was maybe expecting a bit more. But you're always so demanding with the music you like so much. And it's Britney. It's Britney Spears. I, I have a temple for Britney here. Like it's, she's a goddess to me. So, you know, if you're not a goddess in the choreo, in the interpretation, I feel like you've missed it. For now, I wouldn't say that this coach gave me a god performance. Tell me in the comments if you loved it so much. I would totally understand it. I'm really eager to see if somebody shares my opinion. So for the next one, we're going to go on Alexandria, Alexandra. But what is this? Jérôme who? Jérôme Francis? No, 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 guys, guys, did you ever heard about Claude Francois? The original artist of the song is So it's a cover already. I mean, Le Bal Masqué was a cover. I kind of was expecting Alexandre Alexandra on that coach because in one of the previews, he was doing the iconic move that we're probably gonna see in the choreo, which is... <laughs> I'm so happy there's a there's this French song in coming in just dance. In France, it's a classic. Tell me in the comments if you know it in your country. Let's play it first. Alexandrie, où tout commence et tout finit. J'ai plus d'appétit. Caparacuda. Je te mangerai cru si tu ne me retiens pas. Je te mangerai cru si tu ne me retiens pas. So much energy. Oh no! How dare you! How dare you cut it just in steam at this moment? How dare you cut it just before the chorus? What is gonna be the next move? Ah, oh, I wanted to see the chorus. Because the chorus in the official choreography is just something super simple where you just wave your hands two times on the right, two times on the left, and that's pretty much it. I love, love, love the interpretation of the main coach on this one. I loved it. I love the fact that he looks, he's building on the energy, it looks really in the character, and even the girls in the back, I think they fit the character. Me knowing the original artist, so his name was Claude Francois, and he had dancers, the names of the dancers were Claudette, from his name Claude Francois, Claudette. So he was always wearing suits most of the time. This guy's wearing a suit, 
with Sparkle, which fits to the original singer. And the Claudette, his dancers, were always dressed a bit sexy. So it really fits the original song. I never saw Claude Francois nor his Claudette dressed like this. <laughs> But it's just dance, you know? It's just dance, a bit of fun. I enjoyed it. Whether it being the choreography of the girls or the main coach, I like it. It's like it's showtime. You're giving us the showtime, you know? I like the map and I like the fact that they went on the Egyptian theme because it's linked to Egypt. So I'm glad they went on that team. And even though the period on the head of the girl can look a bit ridiculous, it's fun, it's fun. Funny. And I really, really like his suit and his attitude. I really like that coach. He really did an awesome job on it. And the map, the background is really looking beautiful. Approved! As much as I liked Uno last week for being a bit weird and goofy, I like this one for being a bit weird and goofy, but I also want Sassy Sexy. Until the world ends, for now, I'm not super sure manage that job. Last song is June Code by Black Cats. Why does it sound like a cover as well? Do I know that song? Do you know that song? I'm on a zoom show. I'm on a double. Baby, get on the line. Oh, for the report. Why the drawing is why the drawing is in the back? that is kind of making me meh. It's like, forget about the first plan, okay? Let's focus on the background to start with. Why, again, drawings? Like, drawings like this, drawings like this. It looks like it's made for kids. In my eyes, it screams kids. It gives me the same feeling as with In the Navy, where I do not understand why we have kids drawing in the background. Is it like mandatory? Is it like every song accessible to kids have to feature a background with drawings? The choreo is obviously goofy. I've never heard about the song. I would like to know where does this song come from? What artist? Like what language is this? It's not a cover apparently, it's the original artist, Los Angeles based Persian group, pop group. Yeah, it, it sounds pop, but with a bit of Persian vibes. Maybe it's about what they're singing, but I don't have the lyrics. So if somebody knows in the comments what they're singing about, Please tell us. Maybe they're singing about a hotel. Okay, about the choreo. There's some parts that I like, some that I like less, but there's some parts that are really goofy and I'm like, I'm not the best clients of the goofy songs, I guess. The coach, okay, they are people working in a hotel. Both of them, if I take them, just them two, it reminds me a lot of I Love It alt version because it was the guards of the queen version. It's just the costume, I think, that makes me feel like it. The coach don't look like the same and like uh, I don't remember having a guy with such a stash when I see that guy on the right there's three things coming in my head at the same time Pizzaiolo Mario and um, there was a third one <laughs> I'd say why not, but I'm not super excited about it. The music sounds entertaining. It reminds me a bit last year how I got super excited on Tel Aviv, but I don't think the choreo and the atmosphere will get me as much as I was taken on Tel Aviv. Like I ended up really loving it. It's like, oh, okay, cheer for me on that one. Okay, tier. And that's it for today. I honestly think my favorite one today was Alexandria Alexandra. My least favorite was uh, June Code. And I'm still not sure about Till the World Ends. I'll try it. You're gonna see me try it for the first time on my secondary channel, which is like my where I put my best offs of my streams. But you can watch my first tries because I'm gonna try it first on stream. So you will see that. The link is probably somewhere around here. I'll try maybe to 
to, to leave a short impression. And that's it. As well, I will uh, release a video dancing to the last six songs that got announced perfectly, like after training. So we, you will have the first try and the train version. And I'll give you my impressions, I promise. In the meantime, I'm waiting for yours. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel, leave a thumb up on the video and give your impression and opinion in the comments. I'll see you soon. Thank you for watching this video. It was Dina. Ciao!